the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of December 27th, 2021 to the 2nd of January, 2022, as we get ready to begin the new year. But um, thank you so much for joining me. Keep in mind, this is a general weekly read, so just take what resonates and don't uh, stress over what doesn't, okay? But um, we're doing two, we're adding two new additions to spice up these weekly reads. Uh, feeling like they were just a little bit bland for whatever reason. Uh, one of my subscribers, lovely subscribers, recommended we go back to, if you've been with me for a while, you'll remember I used to uh, do the song of the week for each individual sign. Uh, basically shuffling and letting spirit choose a song to speak upon your week when we should perform. All right. And then at the end of the reading, you got to stick with me till the end. We're going to think of a, have you think of a yes or no question. And I'll use my crystal necklace, which I use as a pendulum to um, give you an answer for that. All right. Just, you know, more depth than just to have more fun with these weekly reads. But with that said and done, let's aim down and pull some cards. Okay, I really should have um, mentioned the song of the week for you before aiming down to pull the cards. But anyways, so your song on Shuffle was uh, Feel the Love by Grizz, G-R-I-Z. So I'm not going to, moving forward, speak upon the songs too much, if at, if at all. Um, so I'm just going to leave it in the description box below for you to listen to, look up the lyrics, and just kind of uh, gather your own messages or however you want to uh, go about it, okay? But that's what Spirit chose for you for the week. Let's um, begin by pulling the overall message slash uh, focus for the week from the Green Witch Oracle deck. One more shuffle. For my lovely Leos for this upcoming week, for the 27th to the 2nd, wow. Emotion, an underlying focus on attraction and tranquility. It just feels like, oh, and you are gaining a lot of success, excuse me, with a business, a project, a job, a hobby, something of the sort. It feels like even when it comes to certain connections, it feels like you've been given a, a key to certain changes, adjustments, or just success in one way, shape, or form. But all the meanwhile, there's a focus on who you're attracted to at this point this week, or just feeling very attractive yourself, other people seeing you in that manner, and it all being kind of part of your tranquil way of being this week. It feels like you are passionate and lighting the way for others, or just yourself but in a very calm, cool, and collecting kind of manner, showing people like you don't have to be all over the place or just super energetic over exuding yourself to be a productive fire sign, you know, showing people the, the calm way to go about things and it being very damn attractive. Wow. We'll keep these out. But there's an overall focus. The one they wanted to have fly out was emotion. All right, a focus on your emotions you could be feeling a bit emotional from time to time this week or just being pushed to focus on certain emotions from the past even in order to help you learn something to grow. We have uh, two threes and three fours here. Very interesting. Um, I would look up the angel number meaning for three and four. Okay. But let's pull, I'm going to put this one over here. And we're going to pull the main part of the reading from the Tarot of Dreams. What else do we have for Leo for this upcoming week? For my lovely lions. If you're new to the channel, I'm a Leo son myself. So I more than resonate and just enjoy your readings. What else do we have? Okay not feeling fully like yourself for some reason this week. But going back to the song, I do feel they need to mention, you know, the name of it is Feel the Love. It just feels like you're feeling the love this week or you just feel like people just like what you have to offer, even if you're not feeling fully like yourself or the strongest throughout the week. Okay. Underlining focus on things moving too quickly at times or a progress you're experiencing when it comes to uh, your business project or your career in general, once again, feeling like there's just a lot of messages coming in for you. 
uh, people just admiring you, wanting to get to know you a bit more, wanting to see what you're all about, you know, but needing to have patience all the meanwhile with certain energies you're wrapped up with or maybe noise if you're empathic. I feel like a lot of Leos are dealing with a noisy environment in one way, shape, or form. But we begin with the Page of Cups. And so you begin the week and there's you just feel like you your emotions have run dry for whatever reason. That's how it's coming through. But you're just being viewed as this sort of youthful, um, slightly emotional light. There is a focus on love this week for one reason or another. It feels like Leos aren't willing to sort of settle for um, people or situations that they don't fully care for moving forward, that don't sort of bring them uh, emotional fulfillment or just um, just doesn't feel right in one way, shape, or form. With the King of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, there's a focus on somebody who you view as the King of Pentacles or just this is coming through as your energy, feeling very royal, very uh, confident, but just a little bit emotional in the beginning of the week where you could be learning more about this King of Pentacles. And it could be a female, you know, given everybody does have that masculine energy as well as feminine, but it just feels like there's somebody um, who you view in this manner and you're learning more about them to begin the week. It's side by side with this attraction card. And it's just a very sort of, um, I want to say emotional uh, learning process. It could just feel like it's going slowly, but you're meant to learn what you're learning in the beginning of the week. Two of Wands. I'm hearing it's not just in the beginning of the week, but it's coming out at the beginning of the spread for a reason. So as you move forward with your week, there's a focus on what you're longing for. But with the Four of Wands, things are aligning. Okay, it's like something is missing, but you're weighing things out, trying to choose between options. Or just going through a bit of a juggling act and you just asking yourself am I fully fulfilled with what I have at hand and you know intuitively that there are certain changes on the horizon if not you'll be reminded this week so just hang in there and keep working towards what makes you feel passionate and fulfilled and I feel like you will just you'll end up seeing certain changes and successes coming to be that are meant for you and only you but you make your way to wrap up the first half of the week it feels like and you're not feeling fully like yourself or it's just not feeling strong for whatever reason. It may have to do with your spiritual connection or all the work you're putting in or just feeling drained in one way, shape, or form. Page of Cups again. Again, there is a reason why the card that popped out first was emotion. It's more than one emotion. Your emotions are uh, surfacing, resurfacing for a reason this week. There's something to learn, something to gain, or just the spirit in the universe wants you to sort through them before a fresh start that's on the horizon, okay? But the Nine of Cups, it feels like you are motivated, but just maybe a little bit emotional and just lacking that strength all the meanwhile, or you're just too focused on a wish fulfillment that you desire at this time. But going about whatever it is you're trying to succeed with or move towards, or hoping move towards moves towards you successfully in a tranqu tranquil manner. Interesting. And then we have the Four of Cups. Your world's changing and it feels like you're not really fully in the mood beginning the second half of the week. All right. There could be a focus on somebody who's texting you or messaging you, reaching out to hang out. It could be from the past or it could be a new option. You may have met them recently. It's like, I'm really good. You know, you have your eyes set on somebody else or something else or just, it feels like some of you are getting a job offer that just doesn't feel right for you. It just doesn't feel right for you if I could say it. And a lot of other people in your life would be like, well, why wouldn't you just go for it? You know, it's money, it's a job, it's work. It's like, I know it's right for me at this point, you know, and I'm trusting my intuition where you're just getting an immense amount of confirmation from the universe, from spirit, that it's not meant for you or they are not meant for you. Okay. A huge focus on you being very attractive in even with the ups and downs and the struggles you're experiencing at this time. And so therefore you're manifesting, attracting in a lot of people, options and offers in one way, shape, or form. Somebody for their business online is getting a lot of offers for advertising and stuff like that. And that in and of itself is making you happy. I don't see you accepting any of which. Okay. All up to you. Knight of Coins. And so you make your way through the, around the middle of the second half of the week. 
and it feels like things are moving quite slowly. Don't feel bad for doing what's right for you or for not sort of going with whatever doesn't feel intuitively perfect or right for you. Two of Wands. And this one's aligned with the Two of Wands. All right, so there's a focus on things moving a bit slowly and it kind of makes you notice what isn't with you at this time or what who isn't with you, interesting, or just what's lacking. Right. Some of you feeling as if your business is progressing a lot, but you still want more. Right. And you're going to be reminded things are going to pan out. They're going to be successful. Just breathe and allow yourself to um, to just take things step by step and keep putting in the hard work and effort in a balanced way. OK, it just feels like once again, you're still going through a bit of a juggling act. So even if people feel like you don't have a lot going on, you do. There's more happening behind closed doors or more that goes into your work and your connections then meets the eye, all right? But it feels like even the slow moving pace of a connection or a business for a select few of you uh, or getting a job or that right position, it'll all sort of work out in the end, but there's a reason for the slow pace. You need to sort of sort through your emotions once again and just stay tranquil, stay peaceful all the meanwhile. King of Coins. I'm hearing there's a reason for the slow pace. Just trust it, okay? But so interesting, we began with the King of Pentacles clarifying we're ending the spread with the King of Coins. With the Nine of Pentacles, there's either somebody being labeled as this King of Coins, being very attracted to you, uh, you know, being labeled as this very independent individual who's doing what's right for you at the end of the day, being a little bit stubborn, but finding that to be as well an attractive quality. Or you could just be ending the week feeling very sort of confident, grounded, but emotional. This is when your emotions will resurface the most at the end of both halves of the week, around midweek and to the end of the week. Okay. I guess as well the beginning, but it just feels like these are most relevant to your emotions. So you're saying the whole week, I guess, but you get the point. It just feels like this is when that was most relevant, but yeah, we have the moon. So the hanged man, there's Certain experiences that will be highlighted, brought back up in your memories, your dreams by spirit towards the end of the week. And it, they may be ones that you haven't fully expressed to others or people just don't know fully about. And there's a reason because they weren't easy to go through or they just wouldn't sort of know how to digest what you went through. And so you need to sort through these emotions before you get started with the right person or you begin this perfect job or whatever the case may be, or it could be both or before a fresh new move of residence for some of you, but needing to adjust your perspective on a certain ending or just certain emotions. You could be feeling a bit stubborn uh, to finish up the week when it comes to what took place or just your spiritual connection in general. It just needing to move forward and realize that everything is coming to light or just coming back to the surface for a reason, okay? Wow, this is an intense week. So let's finish off with a find your happy card. And then we'll answer your yes or no question with the pendulum. Hope you thought of it already. If not, do so now. The only approval I need is my own. I know you like that, Leo, because I do. It reminded this week that you don't need other people's approval to decline something or to move forward with what works for you or to just take a break when need be, right? Or to feel emotional. Okay, that wasn't 100% relevant, but you get the point. You don't need anybody else's approval besides your own to move forward with somebody, even if it just doesn't feel like it would be ideal for them or in the eyes of others or society. And a reminder to just be more playful this week and to just maybe loosen up a bit. Okay, or you might be reminding somebody else to do just that. Potential to be feeling a little bit anxious. Well, let's finish this up by answering your yes or no question. Take a moment. Alrighty. All right, so when it swings in the left, um, the reser reverse position, excuse me, that is a no. All right, if it was moving right, it would be a yes. So the answer to your question is no. All right, so I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Leo.